angry guy here and women are becoming homeless as men avoid them. Get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing if you already haven't done so. Like the video and turn on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. So women are becoming homeless as men avoid them. Let's just go ahead and jump into the very first video. Every time I come to Walmart, the fucking prices go up. Bitch, I come shopping every two to three weeks. Tell me why this shit was literally four fucking like 40 something and now it's 580. Seven! Eight dollars for fucking turkey. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And am, I, am I gonna buy it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I mean, women in Western society don't have any choice. They either have to pay these extortions by these companies or they don't eat. This is how, this is how companies have now turned out. This is how life has turned out. And women who said, I don't need no man. I could do bad all on my own. Where are they? They're on social media crying their eyes out because they can't afford food. They can't afford food. They can't afford to live. They can't afford anything. And it's a choice that they made. They chose to walk away from, from marriage. They chose to allow the government to become their new daddy. And they thought that they would be able to live this way forever. And they figured that, oh, well, the government will just take the wealth away from the men. If the men refuse to work, the government can't do anything. And if the government tries to force the men to work, for example, if we had a situation where they basically put us all into bondage and forced us to work, that, that's, that doesn't create wealth. That, that's not how you create wealth. What are they, they going to force men to do? Work the fields? Like, you know, that's not going to create, that's not going to create wealth. You need various different industries, you know, or, or, or we're going to take, well, we're going to take you out if you don't work. That's not going to create hard workers or dedicated workers. That's only going to create men who, who may end up basically taking themselves out, deleting themselves. The government can't really do anything other than, you know, basically trying to punish men who don't marry. And even then, it'll just result in men, you know, cutting back entirely, you know, claiming claiming tax credits and going on Medicaid, picking up food stamps, you know, living in the woods. The more they push men, the more they ostracize men, the more they punish men, the more men will just withdraw from society and the more difficult life was going to become for women because not only can women not find find a man to marry, but it's also dissipating tax revenue and the affordable aid that would that naturally goes to women. And of course, these women will say, oh, I don't care. I don't care. I don't need a man. Uh, you know, don't forget, I made a video not too long ago where a woman basically says that women by men avoiding women and choosing not to date, it actually hurts women and it's patriarchal and it puts women in danger. Yeah. She literally, this is the crazy logic of some women. She literally said that it is a dangerous to a woman, a woman when men choose to avoid women and not date women and not marry like, wow, holy cow. This shows you the mentality guys where it's basically you're damned if you do, do you're damned if you don't. And when more and more men see this type of delusion spilling out, this is why I call it functional insanity, where they, where they are essentially at best functionally insane. When men see this level of delusion, men are just going to say, yeah, you know what? Thanks, but no thanks. I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't want to get myself mixed up in this. I don't want to get myself involved in this. I'm just going to walk away from this. I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to focus on my own happiness. I'm going to focus on my wealth. If I want to be in a relationship, if I want to date, if I want to do any of that, I'm going to go overseas and I'm going to find someone who is fit, feminine, friendly, and is genuinely interested in me. And I'm going to spend my money over there. And I don't have to get married if I don't want to. I can find someone, multiple different women who are just happy to have a relationship with me. Because I'm a man of value. I am the prize. This is something that women are furious about. They are furious and men know that they are now the prize. There's no such thing as a queendom, okay? A woman says that, you know, a man needs to treat her like a queen. But she never says that, well, for her to be a queen, then, you know, the man must be a king. And so, sometimes they'll go, oh, well, yes, of course, he is a king. Okay, but here's the thing. You don't talk about, you don't tell women that women need to treat that man literally like a king. How do you treat a king? You kneel before your king. You exalt your king. You praise your king. You thank your king. You serve your king. You wait on your king. So how the heck can a woman say that she is a queen and if she is not serving her king, if she is not 
con continuously building that king up. I mean, how exactly, what does she think this is? She seems to think that a, that a king and a queen sing e sit equally side by side. That is absolutely incorrect. The, qu the king sits above the queen. If you take the king off the chessboard, the game comes to an end. And modern women just refuse to accept this because they've been fed this, this, this delusion that, you know, we are equal. We can have it both. No, how can you have it both ways? How can you say that the man must do everything, but we're going to be equal? That's not equal. That's equity. Where basically you're getting special privileges and he's getting special punishments. It can't work like that. And how are you so deep in your masculine and then expect the man to be masculine? You know, it, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. I want to know how the hell people in Canada are even living. I generally consider myself a positive person. I'm like resourceful, but some stuff happened around the property and like, well, I know I'll never truly be homeless. Like I, I have family to live with and you know, like I have options. Like I'm luckier than a lot of other people, but how the hell am, are, is anyone existing in Canada? Like I just, I feel trapped and like, like I just got a good job. I start in September, but even with that job, it pays less than 40 grand a year. And it's a job that requires like education and even on that job, like, I still can't do shit. I can't buy anything. I can't afford the rent these days. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just feeling so much despair. And I know I'm normally, like, really, really positive, but I'm just, like, how is everyone else? And are you okay? Because the answer is probably no. And I know I'm lucky. I don't... I don't have kids. I have like good family that will support me, but I just, I feel like I can't stay here, but I can't move anywhere else. Cause anywhere else I move to, I'm going to be charging. Like I'm the landlords are just going to charge me like $2,500 a month in rent. Like unless I move into the middle of literally nowhere where there is zero jobs and I'm just, I'm just feeling really overwhelmed. You know, it's really interesting. Think about this very carefully. So let's say her rent is around $1,500 a month right now. If it's, if that's 50, if her rent is $1,500 a month right now, that works out to $18,000 a year. She said she's making less than $40,000, less than $40,000 a year. So if she's making, let's say 35,000 after taxes, she's lucky if she sees even five She's lucky after she's lucky if she sees even thirty thousand dollars of that. All right. So let's say after taxes, if she's making thirty five thousand dollars, and after ta after taxes, she's lucky if she sees even five. She see, sees even thirty thousand of that. Then consider that her rent in, at fifteen hundred dollars a month. That's eighteen thousand dollars. This woman is not left with much money. He, she has what like twelve thousand dollars left over after everything is said and done. Like she is broke, twelve thousand dollars, and that and we we haven't even discussed food yet. We have so we haven't discussed food. We haven't discussed utility bills, bills so heating, electric, water. You know, she better not run the AC. She better figure it out during the summertime. Summer, summertime. Remember that song from Will Smith, "Summertime," before you know he became you know notorious for being a bad boy. And not like bad boy as in the movie, but bad boy as what he did at the Oscars. But yeah, that's a, that's a subject for another video, you know. And that's just guys, don't don't simp, don't, stop simping, you know. Remember that whole thing: stop stitching, stop simping, you know, because simping destroys lives. You know, I've already said this, and I'll say it again: that you know, when simps, when a simp goes to heaven, when a simp goes to heaven, you know, he's great. His his reward is uh is twenty three jadas, you know. But I mean, I, I, I divest. I, 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 guys, modern day women put themselves in this situation. They put themselves in this situation and they're going to have to live with the consequences of all of this. How are people affording life right now? Because I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. 
that's so hilarious, but it's true. That's what a, a lot of people, I said it, I said it in another video, a lot of people just live it off straight credit right now. Like, how are these women surviving? They're living off credit. That's another thing, gentlemen. You need to be consciously aware of this because these women are living off credit, which means that they cannot even, they can't support themselves. They don't know what to do. They're literally on that struggle bus. So you get into a relationship with an American woman, she's not even going to tell you about that pro personal credit debt until she's like locks you in and she's figuring that you're going to be the simp to pay that off for her because that's how she's eating. How is this woman? eating right now like ask yourself if she's only making let's say thirty five thousand dollars a year how is she eating how is she eating if she only has like thirty thousand dollars left over after they tax her okay and then after she pays her rent right then how is how is she eating how is she eating you know what is she doing to survive she's only has like twelve thousand after she pays her rent she only has like twelve thousand dollars left all right that's not counting utilities I mean, what is what is she doing? What is she doing to survive? Like she literally said, how are people surviving out here? How is she serving? I mean, is her are her parents helping her? Is she are she visiting food banks? And I think she said she's about like thirty three years old. Like you know, here's the thing: if you chose to settle down it, when she was eighteen years old, I want she's not bad looking. When she was eighteen years old, if she had to said, you know what, I'm gonna go look for a good man. I'm gonna settle down. I'm gonna become a wife. I'm gonna become a mother. I'm not going to have a career. Forget about the career. And I'm going to build something. She would have a good man. She would have a house. She would have she would have a family, children. She would not be in this level of, of stress and debt, more than likely. Because she could have chosen a good man. She could have chosen a man that had a solid income. That could provide for her. Could, that could take care of her. She probably was on the millionaire gang thing that she was going to go and land herself a millionaire. And now look where this look at where she is right now. And guys, it's only going to get worse from here. You see these girls, they're crying, they're screaming and hollering. How are they can't pay, they can't afford food. Yet they're on social media doing this. And then they're like, okay, forget this. I'm gonna go open up a lonely fans or only fools and make my and make my money. And now I'm a high value woman. They don't realize that they're selling out their futures for instant gratification in the present. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing if you already haven't. Like the video and turn on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Women are becoming homeless as men avoid them. What do you guys think about everything we discussed in the video? I want to know your thoughts. Let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.